Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua, and in this video we're going to talk about my favorite lens for my Panasonic G85, GX85, Micro Four Thirds in general, and that is the Panasonic 12-35 f2.8 lens. This is the first version of the lens, they have two versions of it. The first one and the second one apparently are pretty similar in terms of image quality, sharpness, all that fun stuff. But I wanted to do a video on like why I think the 12 to 35 f2.8 lens is the best lens and my favorite lens for Micro Four Thirds systems. I'll leave a link to this lens in the description so be sure to check that out. So let's get into it. All right, so reason number one why I love the 12 to 35 lens is image quality is fantastic on this. Sharpness is amazing. Colors look really good. It doesn't seem like this lens has many sacrifices in terms of image quality. It's so sharp. It just looks really good. Another thing I love about this lens is its size. It's not the smallest lens for Micro Four Thirds. Like, it's not like a pancake lens and it does even get a little bigger when you zoom in or out. The lens does have a little bit of weight to it, but it doesn't feel super heavy when it's on my camera. When it comes down to my camera experience, I really want a camera and a lens combination that enables me to do a lot of handheld shooting without feeling like I'm holding a brick in my hand. Highly portable, it's not super heavy, but you get that nice juicy 12 to 35 focal range, which is the full frame equivalent of 24 to 70. So another reason why I love this lens is the focal length range. And 12 millimeters on the Micro Four Thirds system looks really good to me. It's got a little bit of width without creating like a lot of distortion and it looks really natural. But then if you're feeling a little juicy and you need to zoom in a little bit onto the subject, you got that 35 millimeter focal length. So you can zoom in a little bit and actually get some pretty amazing bokeh. And because the aperture remains constant at 2.8, you can zoom in and still retain that f2.8. So that's super handy. Another one of the main reasons why I love the 12 to 35 lens is when you put it on a camera like the G85, which I'm filming on right now, or a GH5, a G9, etc. It enables the dual IS system on the body, which means that the camera's image stabilization and the lens of stabilization working together kind of like a Captain Planet situation like when our forces combine you get super stabilized footage and I must say that it works really really well like handheld shots look super buttery I mean even just walking around with this lens if you're doing it kind of like a vlogging kind of situation that looks really good too. It's not perfect. You're not going to get perfectly stable results but if you're just standing still and not shaking your hand very much it looks really, really good. And it looks like you're using a gimbal, basically. Another reason I love the 12 to 35 lens is the price. That's one of my favorite things about Micro Four Thirds in general, is you can get really, really fantastic quality lenses for under $1,000. And I even consider $500 like a lot of money to spend on a lens, even though we all know lenses can get super expensive. But this lens, I think I bought it for like 350 used or something. It was maybe 400. You can get this lens for a really good deal and you're not going to be spending like $2,000 on a lens. So if you're looking for a lens that has that nice juicy focal length range of 12 to 35 and you have about 500 US dollars or less to spend, this is a really good deal for the quality that you get. I mean, I've shot so many things using this lens. It's just really fantastic. Let's talk about autofocus for a second too because this lens does really well on my G85 and my GX85 in terms of autofocus, which is really important because autofocus on the G85 and the GX85 is not the best in the world. In fact, it kind of basically sucks. So any help that we can get to get a lens that will give you pretty good autofocus quality results, specifically within video, I will take that. The 12 to 35 seems to perform way better when it comes to autofocus using video than a lot of the other lenses that I've tried for Panasonic, at least on my G85. I know that there's newer camera bodies that have better autofocus than the G85, but I still love the G85 and until one of them really sucks me in and I'm like, damn, I really need that camera, I'm sticking with the G85 for now and this is kind of like my go-to lens for the camera when I'm like about to shoot portraits or I'm about to shoot you know, like an event or something. I really like that it has the wide angle and a little bit of zoom. And I, I don't usually typically need more zoom than 35 millimeters. And I also love that it has that constant f2.8 aperture so you can always get the juicy bokeh, whether you're zooming in or you're zoomed out a little bit. 
And the biggest thing to me, image quality, this nails it. I mean, it's it's just it's just really good. So those are some of the top reasons of why I love the 12 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 lens. So yeah, it's my favorite lens for micro four thirds, at least out of the ones that I've tried so far. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg, and the quality is just really good. So let me know what you think in the comments of this lens if you've used the lens before, or if you have another suggestion for another lens that's amazing that I should be aware of. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know, smash those buttons, throw them into a pot of boiling water to make ramen soup with the like and subscribe buttons. Notification bell, you know, throw that into the soup as well. Add me on Instagram and Twitter at B3NAQUA. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Wah, wah.